My name is Naif Al Mutawa. I'm a professor at the medical school and clinical psychologist by training, but also a serial entrepreneur and probably best known of, for my creation of the 99, which is the first group of superheroes based on Islamic archetype. So perception is at the center point of everything I do as a psychologist, and perception is at the center point of what I wanted to do with the 99. Uh, I just felt that our culture was in the hands of the wrong people. Uh, too many people not taking part. So with the 99, what I've done is I've challenged, uh, I've challenged institutions such that some very large institutions have come after me recently. So if you ask people about me, they'll tell you he's either destroying our culture or he's giving it a breath of fresh air. For me, how I see myself, um, I'm just somebody who likes to work on projects that push things forward. I mean, in our part of the world, there's too much kind of recreating the, you know, we want to recreate fire, we want to create the wheel again. And one of the problems of that is that, you know, the understanding of what a society is, a society is about the majority, yes, but it's also about the protection of minority. That part of protection of minority doesn't exist here. And I, I really want to be part of that movement to kind of redefine our culture for the future generations. So in the 99, there are two leaders. There's one leader who's the bad guy, whose name is Rugal, and there's one leader who's the good guy, who's Ramsey. Now the 99 all have within them the stone that has within it the wisdom up to the 13th century. The bad guy doesn't want the stone to update with new information because by leaving the information in, in, you know, from 700 years ago, he can control them and be a ruler, not a leader. When they finally moved over to the good guy, he wanted them all to be the best they could be because together they can move things forward. I feel a good leader needs to be attuned to being able to do that. I, I'm the father of five boys. Last July, a year and a half ago, I missed a step and broke my ankle. I broke it so bad, my bones were sticking out of my leg. Went through three surgeries. And I tell you, I was not happy. I was, I was angry, I was bitter. Uh, but I was sitting there in New York on my back. I was stuck there for seven months. But in the first month when there was pain, and I had a decision to make. You know, the decision was, you know, these kids are gonna watch me go through this. What lesson do I wanna pass on to them? And, and, I, you know, I, and I basically talked myself into kind of, you know what? Just this is, this, is, this is what it's about. Yes, you broke your leg, your leg will get better. But if you teach them the lesson about kind of being upset every time something terrible happens in life, they're gonna take that with them for the rest of their life.